I've come to the British Museum, a storehouse of ancient civilizations, to trace the origins of the most deadly disease in our history. Picture the scene, 1910. French and British Egyptologists inspect the mummy of Ramses V, an Egyptian pharaoh of the 20th dynasty from over a thousand years BC. And they find on his lower face, on his neck, on his shoulders, eruptions, pustules. It's the earliest evidence of smallpox in human history. Now, we don't know much about Ramses. He ruled for just four years. He was the mighty bull, the golden Horus, the repulsor of millions. But we can imagine from the evidence of his preserved body, the misery he suffered on his deathbed, his aching limbs swelling with pustules, the sores covering his body, the stench in the nostrils of those that watched in horror. What killed Ramses was a virus, the variola virus, a microscopic organism that survived for thousands of years only within the body of its human host. Passed in a chain of infection from human to human, from the ancient world into the modern age. In its wake, a trail of destruction. 300 million casualties in the 20th century alone. What the virus thrived on was civilization. As we came together in towns and cities, we created the conditions in which an infectious disease could thrive. As civilizations interconnected through trade, we passed the infection backwards and forwards. Almost all the civilizations represented in this great museum, Assyrian, Carthaginian, Roman, Greek, the ancient kingdoms of China, India, Japan, Persia, all experienced the scourge of smallpox. I want to tell the story of smallpox in the past 500 years, from the point it became endemic in early modern Europe. I want to tell the story of how it impacted us here in Britain, the speckled monster from the 16th to the 19th centuries. And I want to tell the story of something remarkable, how human civilization fought back. How, through human ingenuity, human cooperation, human genius, we learnt to prevent the spread of this terrible disease and eventually defeated it, wiping the virus off the face of the earth. Without exaggeration, it's one of the great epic stories in human history. <laughs> 